Hi, this is Marianne Woods again, and I am the program director for the Master of Science program in Research Administration at Johns Hopkins University. Now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the, um, the spectrum of research administration. Now we're all well aware that uh, usually it begins with an idea, or most often it has to begin with an idea. And as we move from the idea into the development of the proposal, uh, we then work with our faculty in preparation of the proposal and submission of the proposal. And then once the proposal is awarded, then we work with our faculty in the administration of the proposal and depending upon uh, what area of research administration you're involved in, you may close out the award as well. Well, why do I bring this up? Because oftentimes there's another spectrum and that spectrum also has to fit into research administration. And that would be the regulatory committees. Okay, We know that when we go to submit a proposal as an example to NIH, that we have to submit a conflict of interest, uh, a conflict of interest management plan if it is, there has been deemed a conflict of interest. Well, this can add time to the proposal submission process. And you need to be aware of the amount of time that it can add to that process. It's not an easy thing when you have to prepare a management report or, excuse me, a management plan. I know because I've been at uh, the beginning and the end of that spectrum having served as a research integrity officer for a major university. So what do you need to do when you're confronted with this? You've got 24 hours and a research proposal has to go out and yet suddenly you're faced with the fact that nothing has been disclosed to uh, the officer in charge or to, if you have a committee, or to the conflict of interest committee. Well, you have to let your supervisor know what's happening and um, you also have to have in place processes and policies and procedures so that everyone on your campus is aware of what needs to be done in this area because you cannot submit that proposal. It will not uh, fly and you may get into some uh, regulatory trouble if you submit the proposal without the approval of the institution of the management plan and uh, NIH, as an example, is not aware of that management plan. 